Welcome to the COVID-19 update for today, Tuesday, August 23, 2022. And as usual, I have the Minister of Health, Dr. Frank Anthony, with me for this discussion. Minister Anthony, thank you once again for joining us. So we currently have 321 active cases across the country. And over the last 24 hours, um, we diagnosed 26 persons with COVID. Uh, so right now, um, we're monitoring all those persons and it varies by region. Well, we have seen a drop in hospitalization. Uh, again, right now we have 12 persons in hospital. Uh, 10 of those persons are at Ocean View, and of those 10, two are in the ICU. Well, in the regions right now, um, the region with the most cases would be in Region 4. And I guess if you look per capita, it would not be that bad. So we have 134 cases right now in Region 4, 81 cases in Region 3, 28 cases in Region 7. So these seem to be the, the regions where we have more cases and we keep monitoring. But one of the things that I keep emphasizing we would only be able to detect cases if we're testing people. And if a lot of people are not coming forward to be tested, then we wouldn't have an accurate picture of what is happening in the region. And in many of these regions, uh, people are not coming forward to be tested, although they have signs and symptoms. Some of them might think it's flu, but those flu-like symptoms can also be COVID. Right. So unless you test, you would not be able to differentiate flu from COVID. And therefore, you can be walking around and spreading uh, the virus to other persons. So it is important that people get tested, and if you get tested, to then take the precautions. Having seen that you had a spread and the WHO declaring that it's a public health emergency, we immediately took a number of steps here in Guyana. So in the case of uh, the first patient, mm -hmm. we, we had um, that sequence of events that occur. Patient showed up, doctor was able to uh, make a preliminary diagnosis uh, from the clinical picture that was presented. We took the samples, we sent it to the lab, the lab confirmed, and having confirmed, we trigger the next set of steps. We wanted to make sure that this patient is properly isolated so that he wouldn't be in contact um, with other persons. This has been the COVID-19 update for today, Tuesday, August 23, 2022. I am Shaquan Gil saying goodbye for now.